Thank you for tuning in to Androna Talks Radio. Gathering as one in our sovereign truth from a galactic perspective. Exploring our world with new ideas, knowledge and a promise of a better future. Galactic discussions for collective minded people. Androna Talks. everyone we have another regression with jennifer and in the beginning you'll see that we go into a clearing and a discussion about her space that takes up you know over 15 minutes of the regression and so you know we're just talking going back and forth i'm telling her what i see there and we discover a 12d pleiadian my lab that's trying to operate out of her space which i'm glad we found as we get into the regression, I believe there's hints of um, this cryo lab, which could possibly be Antarctica, and some very strange things regarding um, Resident Evil and some others that relate to our reality here, and how that they're cloning and using people, and then they are influencing. These are the influencers of our world that are being handled and managed in the labs and so anyhow i hope that you enjoy listening it was um revealing in many ways and uh, more information continues to come out i appreciate you listening okay so i'm just going to take a look in your space Please do. The guy from The Simpsons. <clears throat> Had the a bunch of died? entities there. Yep. Why don't you break ties with him? What's his name? Shit. Got his name. I didn't even look at the thing that long. Is it because I draw? No, it's because it's because you're in California. Edwin Aguilar. Edwin Aguilar. Anybody else? Anyone related to whatever he's doing? Anything related to the Simpsons? I break all ties, vows, oaths, blood oaths, contracts, agreements, and connections between myself and Edwin Aguilar. Any characters that are connected to the Simpsons show and anything he's connected to. In all time, space, reality, past, present, and future, alternate space, and between space, parallels, pocket realities, in realities, all dimensions, and any and all context of reality right now. I do not consent. I do not agree to any kind of program overlay or agenda between myself and, and this guy and all of his entourage. Unplug, delete, and uninstall, shut down, and so be it. Gratitude and knowledge I'm always on the Okay, because they created some kind of reality in your, they were using you. They're using your space. To do what? I felt like that because I felt so stuck lately and so completely worn out. It's it's like a Pleiadian um, center or something or some kind of... My apartment is? Yes. I don't consent to that at all. They have chat trapped in there. In my In my house? Yes. Well, I'd like to release her. And there's a spider creature behind. And that's what was around my, that's why, the, and that's what was scratching me? No. <clears throat> it's holding her in a space. Well, then that's why my apartment has felt so completely just blah. Who the hell did this? Kevin Spacey's laughing. Oh, you piece of shit. I, he needs to be brought up to the high courts. This is so fucking beyond. What right does it give him to, to lock people into my space? 
he's using your space, literally using your space to do all sorts of things. And then, what? then what? Eventually, what then you I mean? start getting attacked. Yep, because the people are angry. Can we take him up to the high courts, like right now? Yeah. Paul Serene, Kevin Spacey, I don't consent to this. This is a crime Honor. against humanity. Enough. Asked to be pulled out of any and all my labs related to Monarch Kevin Spacey in that he can never ever use you again to trap you or anyone that's connected to you. I asked to be pulled out of any and all my labs having to do with Monarch. Any Mo Monarch my labs were Kevin Spacey, Paul Serene. Shit, there's doing something to my ear. Hold on. My right ear just started hurting really hard. I, I asked to pull out of all my labs, Monarch My Labs, um, where Kevin Spacey and or Paul Serene and or Paul Serene are part of it. Any of my labs actually of Monarch, and I don't consent and I don't agree to having my space used in any way, shape, or form by Monarch, Paul Serene, Kevin Spacey ever. There's no right to come near me whatsoever. Something to my head. That's why my eye was burning me so bad. I kept on getting headaches. What a piece of shit. I've seen a whole bunch of buildings on fire. It's in another reality. That this reality created. They did this. They did this, and if anyone from that other reality starts searching for it, came from it came from your apartment. Oh, jeez. I'm going to ask to help put it out, put out the fires. And I'm going to put all their faces out there. Every single one of their faces be exposed and revealed for all that they did. So that they can be hit. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you. God, this is why my head has been hurting so bad. And I had visions of fires. Yeah. And because you do the research and they don't like that we're talking about these things. Peter said that they're getting angry at him because of the subjects we talk about. Do you want me to break ties with the Pleiadians or what do you want me to do? Anything? Yeah. You're wearing a crystal bracelet. <clears throat> Somehow you're initiated into the Pleiadians group. So take that bracelet. It's on your right wrist. I have this. Taking this off. It's rose quartz. From where? I, it, I don't know. I've had it for a while, but I just put it back on the other day for no reason. Okay, I'm taking it off. It's off. There's another one underneath there, that. I, it looks like a one. bangle. And it has, uh, like, I don't know, um, metal on the inside. It looks like almost like an organite. It's glowing. When did this happen? Last Tuesday. What did I do last Tuesday? It's in, in your dreams, you've been going on missions with them. Well, I asked for forgiveness for that. I asked for forgiveness for whatever I did. And can we hand that bangle over to Rodan? I asked that, that you stop being, <clears throat> they're violating your, your um, sovereign right by manipulating you while you're asleep. Because you would never consent to that. Otherwise. Never. And I don't even know what's going on. So I asked for forgiveness for this, but I'm also, I don't give you my consent. You're manipulating me. And I don't give you the right to do that ever. You're not allowed to do that. When I'm in my sleep space, I'm protected. And if you're doing something, that means you're doing something illegal. And you have, you're going to have to explain yourself now to what you're doing and pay the consequences. They're trying to justify it, saying everything was taken from them. Something oh, about South America. I, I, I don't know what the... That has absolutely nothing to do... I mean, it's just like it, it's not even related. So because everything was taken away from them in did South you take America. It to, yeah. You didn't do it I, personally. Well, what? I've never even been to South America. 
So, so now it's my fault and you want to do this to me here for what? To then go and destroy other things? You don't care. Throw some they're, balls. They're the most narcissistic, self-centered, egomaniacs that this planet has ever seen. And they need to be held responsible. So tired of them. They just think they could strut around in their fake, fake bodies. Their little plastic bodies that make them look like they're perfect. But they're monsters on the inside. Their time is up. Because this is enough. Human beings deserve to have the truth be put in front of them so that they can choose. You justify blaming me for something I had nothing to do with. Show me the proof of me doing anything. I didn't do anything. I saw some yellow goo. Yuck. They put that on you. Yellow goo? Yeah, so you would struggle. Well, I asked to have that taken off. And shown, I'd like to bring this up to the Council 5 to show you what they're doing. For no reason. Whoever else they did it to. Did they do it to you or is there anybody else that was trapped here? They're doing different things to different people. But they're literally like they set up shop in your, your apartment. Well, that's not okay. You can't live here rent free. Now you need to pay the piper, and it's expensive. He said the owl is dead. That, that's, that's from Michelle Pfeiffer. When you were doing the Jimmy thing today, I looked up Michelle Pfeiffer, and she said in, in the movie Scarface, owls are never what you think they are. Hmm. How did you, you did a research I, on her and owls? I looked, I sent you a picture of her yeah. and that there, somebody drew a Black Widow thing. And then for some reason, because of what Jimmy said, an owl, I did, I thought that was the last name of his grandfather. I put Michelle Pfeiffer owl and I went under images and a picture of her came out. She was in her twenties and there's a quote in the movie that says an owl is, owls are never what they're, what they actually look like. They're never what they, they seem to be. So it's very strange that you just heard that. I mean, the spider's dead. I keep on hearing Simon. You said that, and I heard Simon. Hmm. Saw a little boy with like a bull haircut with white hair. Or was that that kid that you went to school with? Oh, I did go to school with a Simon. You're right. I see these Pleiadians, and they've never been judged before. They were so entitled. They've never felt any pain, never suffered, never had any sorrow, but they were cold as anything towards humanity. And that they just thought, saw themselves as untouchable. <laughs> they were saying, but we're pure. Yeah, pure, pure idiots. Crap. Pure shit. That's a good pure to be. God. Just stuck something in my shoulder. Get whatever's on my shoulder out right now. It wasn't them. It was someone else. What fuck is on my shoulder? Like it's a rod or something. That's the spider. Wow. Well, I don't consent to this at all. You just hit it. Incredible. Yep. So is that gone? Or they, did you get rid of all the Pleiadians and everything here? Get off of my head. Pull yourself out. Pulling I'm still in the space, yep. Pulling myself out of this space right now. I don't consent. I don't agree to it. I'm asking to be put back on my natural space and time, place and timeline. In my apartment without any of this overlay or whatever the hell was created. Something is... I'm bugging my head. Touching. Seeing another spider. The break ties again. All ties, vows, oaths, but oaths, contacts, ag contracts, agreements, and connections between myself and the spider thing. In all time, space, reality, past, present, and future, ultra space, in between space, parallels, bucket realities, and realities. All dimensions and any and all context of reality. Unplug, delete, and uninstall, a shutdown, and so be it. 
Oh, Jess, I'm sorry. I just saw a black owl. What is it with these black owls? I don't know. It'd be nice to shift out of this. This is not something we need to be. It's pulling out of your space now. Some kind of weird orange color. And that's why I've been. I thought literally that I was having many earthquakes because my my couch and stuff would roll every day. That's probably what I was feeling. Yeah. There's like a witch. You see her. She just went to hide. One of those troll things. Troll or, or whatever. Oh, it's lol. It's what? Oh, that lol thing? Mm-hmm. Oh, and so I want to know how the hell it was able to affect me that way. She's screaming. Oh, Break ties with her. Break all ties, vows, oaths, blood oaths, contracts, agreements, and connections between myself and Lolf in all time, space, reality, the witch Lolf in all time, space, reality, past, present, and future. Alternate space and between space, parallels, pocket realities, in realities, all dimensions, and any and all context of reality right now. Do not consent. I do not agree to any kind of program overlay or gender connection between myself and any soul aspect or avatars of myself. And this witch Lolf, unplug, delete, uninstall, shut down, blow up right now. And so be it. And gratitude and knowledge I've always loved and heard. I saw Michelle Pfeiffer and then they called her Tatiana, which in a Midsummer's Night Dream movie, she's called Tatiana there, the Queen of the Fairies, which is then also the Maeve. But the Queen of the Fairies was not supposed to be the Maeve. But she made herself as their the queen. queen of the fairies. Yeah. That's why the Queens have been uh, the fairies have been corrupt. I just saw some big grasshoppers. And they asked to have them removed. I just want to know how the fuck they got into my space. It's because I'm doing all the research for you? That's not going to change. I'll deal with this. It's no big deal. If that's how they're coming in... They, I wanted, they definitely wanted to harm you. But it was well, not just because of me, but because of the my labs and stuff. They've been using all of us for a long time. Yeah. Predators prey upon well, children. I'm not going to stop this work. I'm not going to stop. The Maeve, do it Maeve screaming. She looks like someone from The Handmaid's Tale. She wearing like a white outfit and or a light gray or something. Thundercats. I just heard Thundercats. Do you remember them? I, you know what? I didn't. I didn't grow up here with them, but I think I remember what they are. Yeah, the thunder. It's a show. I don't remember them. Thunder cats. I completely forgot about them. Me too. Yep, animated series. They even made a movie out of it. I look at it. It's about cats. Yep. Follows the adventure of the group of cat-like humanoid aliens from the planet Thundera. When the dying planet meets its end, the group, known as the Thundercast, is forced to flee its homeland. While leaving their Thunder fleet, the Thundercats are attacked by mutants of the Plundar, who attack most of their starship. The damage means they cannot reach the intended uh, destination, so they end up in the Third Earth. And there's all of that stuff being talked about with that Earth, you know, the inner Earth right now. And when you talk to Jimmy, remember you said there was something inside, like on the inner plane or something, that was disrupted? Yep. I was in this like forest and there was a bunch of mud on the ground. There was water. Like it had just rained. Yeah. I don't know why you were it was silent and I just I found myself right in the middle of this muddy forest. But it's moving. Is it like a mudslide? 
floor is moving. So where are you? Well, I'm looking at it. I'm watching it move. Um, I think I might be caught in it. I think I'm stuck in here. Just heard a gremlin. Heard the word gremlin. I try to pull myself out of this spot. I don't know what I'm doing in here. It's just muddy. Now it's this path. It's a forest path. Like on the outskirts of the forest. What do you look like there? I can't see myself. Look down at your feet. Black boots. Mud all over them. Got a red checkered t shirt on. I have a hat on. Like a piece of like wheat or something in it. Okay. My guy. My guy, what, is, what do I look like? I can't figure out what I look like. Just saw a young version of me, and then I saw an older version of me. Saw an old man with a long white beard. A black hat on, almost like a, a chimney sweep guy. Yeah. With the top hat. Yeah. I'm looking up. I keep on looking up. What am I looking up at? I can see myself looking up. Maybe I'm looking at the guy. Is that looking at or is that me? And my feet got really big all of a sudden, big shoes. It's hard for me to walk. You just get older, you see yourself age. Yeah. What's your name? My, sounds strange, but I heard marginal. Was it Reginald? Could be Reginald, yeah. Reginald. Something over my shoulder like a like a fishing pole. Walking backwards, walking on, but I keep on, I'm scared of something that's above me. Hmm. Can you see what that is? I might have dementia, I might not be okay. How old are you? 80. Um, where are you? Where am I? It's hard for me today. I feel unfocused. No, it isn't. They don't want you like to see it. You can see it. Something just believe. dropped into your hand. It's a package or something that you need to bring somewhere, but you keep forgetting. You're just going into the space. Well, maybe I just feel confused because I think this guy's got dementia or something. Yeah. Uh, what did you do for work? Something in the f I'm wearing all black. Something in the fields. Maybe did I someone was die? Yeah, there you go. Somebody just died. My wife, my wife died. Oh, I have a butterfly net. Not a, it's not a, 
fishing pole, I have a butterfly net. Let's see my wife, what she looked like. Maybe that was her in her hat. What's her name? Her. Edna. What country are you in? Romania. Is Edna connected to that Edwin that was doing the artwork for The Simpsons? In person. And what is she? Or he? Is he pink? Is he a pink scarf? Or under her head, but her face is flat. Like she's got a it's almost like she's an astronaut. She's got a weird outfit on. She's like a... She's in space. She goes to space. She's a time traveler? Yeah, she's or, a time traveler. Is she a star seed, like? She travels, I know that. So she came into this reality oh. to predict the future in the Simpsons? That's what scared him. That's what scared me when I looked up. You could see her up in the sky. It wasn't normal. Did she wipe your memory so she could leave? Yes. I mean, you got her except for the scarf. I mean, it made it look like she was dead. Yeah. But I can still see her scarf that I made a butterfly net with. She made it for me. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I have bad memory problems. Going back to my house. It's up on the hill. Why is the ground moving? Is it moving or are they moving you, doing something with you? Oh, my feet are blue. I'm wearing something else now. Is it because you have a health issue? Or is it something else? It's a different blue. It's like a... It's like a really light blue, but like metallic. Um, we got some more. I'm in a facility. People are wearing white boots and white aprons. Kind of like, you know, the, the slaughterhouses. Did they put you through a, she put you through a my lab? What did she do I to you? Woman. I know the woman, the woman that's helping me. She's tall. Who does she look like? She's, she's tall. She's got short, light brown hair, kind of poofy. I know her. I've been here before. Is she connected to that, um, Cleopatra Jones? come here often. I don't know who that is. Oh, I know who that is. She's bringing me to my room. This is the room that I know. I come here every time she dies. Bringing me back in. There's a bubble. They're going to put me in the bubble. It's weird. The woman's face looks like a pig face. She looks like a pig face. I don't know why. Hmm. I don't know why. Want to reveal name. reveal what she is? Reveal the truth of who she is? Reveal the truth of who this woman is. 
Commandant. Who's Commandant? Cheryl. Commandant, yeah. Cheryl. Cheryl. Commandant Cheryl. She's the leader. She's got a mask on, so I can't tell what she looks like. I've been here before. You're putting tubes in my stomach, needles in my arms, and a helmet on my head. It's a bandage on my right leg. And now they're putting socks on my feet. Just put my foot into some kind of a contraption. And they're closing the bubble. I'm holding on. There are these things going up like this, and I'm holding on here. My fingers need to go into the thing for the fingers to take hold. There's something in my mouth. Cryogenic. Putting me into cryogenic sleep. Ow! Oh, this hurts. Uh, I like something into my knee. It's a rod. There's fluid in it. You're changing. You're changing something in my body. What are they doing? Something Tell me. Back. This is when you were were uh, Reginald. Yeah. What did they oh. do to you? Original, the original. You just said it. They bring you back to the original. It's a copy. There's copies of me. Clones of me. As Reginald. Yeah, but I'm the original. I create clones. Boot, white plastic boot. What are these beings? Where are they from? Where is uh, Edna from? Or uh, Edwin? I mean, with an M. Are they from the future? Are they from the past? From the future. Mephistopheles, but I don't know what that means. Where is Mephist Mephistophelian? I know what that means. That's that entity. Demon. There's M's on the. Is it M's Michael? On the There's a Michael. Yeah, it's a blue M. It's making clones. Can we also dead. have this clone center shut down right now? This clone center shut down immediately. Remove all the clones and have all the original souls return back to where they belong. There's a lot of them. I see the circles. There's these wheels of them. There's like five bodies to a wheel. They're turning around and around. Something's getting sucked out of them. Jeez. Um, that's the blue I saw. It's the blue I saw in the eyes the other night, last night. Mm. Bright, bright, mm. bright blue, not natural. Yeah, the blue that was in the, the dog and the, mm -hmm. the woman. And the, you know, like the ice people. I can we shut down? Want to shut down and save anybody who's who's to be saved in here? There's a lot of people in here. There's ten thousand people in here. They all, they all need to be saved. They're being used, and they're all old. Why are they all old? Why are they all my age? Old. Replicating. What are they replicating? Oh, their memories. 
They're using their memories for something. They're using their memories to create other realities. Then they wipe them. Let's reset all of that, shut all that down, and close all of those realities right now. Something's unraveling. There's a doctor there, dressed as a surgeon, like an old-fashioned surgeon. He's tall, he's got a weird shaped head. He's got one eye kind of closed. He's looking at me from the corner of his eye. He's got a, he's holding a thing, like a clipboard, writing something down. He's got green scrubs, light green scrubs, weird feet. Feet are almost clown-like. Looks like a bird. Looks like a bird. Is this the blue avians? No, I said a relative. It's a relative of the fucking blue avians. Hmm. That's one of the the uh, Japanese demons. I think they're being used for Elon Musk, Jess. Some kind of a seeding program. The the clones or the blue avians? Remember they they were doing in that my lab like a seeding program. Saw a big conveyor belt with the bubbles on them, and I saw SpaceX written on it. Who else is working with him on that? Somebody named McGuire, Bertie McGuire. Who's Bertie McGuire? Bertie. Bertie McGuire, and it's the Bolivians. Bertie McGuire. Murdoch. Murdoch. Rupert Murdoch? Yes, Rupert Murdoch. Madoff. Madoff just died. Mm-hmm. She's got stung. What am I what am I here for? What am I supposed to see? It's, everything's very white. Really, really, really white. What is this? There is a birdie seagull. Bird Siegel, McGuire, American politician, a delegate Just, in the U.S. representative from Oklahoma Territory, 1915. Oh, he really? retired in 1915. He was born in 1865. His name is Bertie McGuire. Wow. Bertie Siegel, S-E-G-L-E, McGuire. Like a seagull, like a bird? Mm hmm. Is that why they call them birdie? Yep. Isn't there the seagulls? Who was that show? Um, I just saw it. The, they're somehow connected to the Simpsons. The, um, is it married with children? I hated the show. I never watched it. It's where that woman, they had, like, what was her name? It was a... It, the blonde-haired girl or the red-haired the mother? The mother was the red-haired girl. Is that her name, Seagull? Is one uh, of them a Seagull? I just saw her face. It's either their name in there or she's connected to this. Is their name the seagulls in the... Katie Seagal. Katie Seagal. What does she have to do with this? I'm seeing Tom Cruise. Just walked by in a white space outfit. He's a robot. It's not him, it's a robot. You just saw Tom Cruise? Yeah, but as a robot. 
Yeah, like they already replicated him. Yeah, it's not he's not human. Is he the one that's that's that they're claiming is is doing all that stuff with um uh Resident Evil, the whole thing with uh Wuhan and and Oh, he just turned and looked at me. One of his eyes is not an eye, it's a uh... Like a camera or something went in. You got very mad at me when you said that. Yep. So that could be yes. I'm going to ask to have this program shut down, deleted, and uninstalled. So that there's no more poisoning of the rest of the earth. And and I'm asking if there's any soul aspects that belong back to... um, um, Tom Cruise that it returns back to him and anything else the programming shut down delete and uninstall and removed right now and if there's any aspect of anyone else that it returns back to them and undo any and all harm that was done to this planet because of this You're doing something to me who is I don't know that my brain is foggy. I don't. I feel weird. I was just thinking that uh, Tom Cruise played in the movie Jerry Maguire. So there's that. Oh. Okay, you're gonna be an observer. You're not gonna experience what this man is. That at Reginald guy. That's you. I don't know. I just heard Regis. You're just filming. Yeah, are you connected to him? Oh, yeah. Hmm? Yeah, but it, is Reginald and Regis the same? They're the same. Regis is the copy of Reginald. Oh, my God. So you're Regis. And who's Kathy Lee? She's the cigar woman. And what about the other one that came in? Um, Regis and uh, uh so there. there was another the other one. Edna. Kelly. Regis Kelly. and Kelly. No, it was Regis and the other woman before. Not Kelly. Um, but today Kathy, there's Kathy Lee Gifford. Kathy Lee Kelly Gifford. Kelly Reba. Kelly Reba. The blonde hair. I think Kathy Lee Gifford is, is, is also a copy of something. I think maybe that Seagal thing or that guy, the, the birdie, the birdie guy. I don't know Kelly Ripa is though. There's white foam everywhere. Do you want to break ties with all of your clones and then we're going to ask to have them removed? Break all ties, vows, oaths, but oaths, contracts, agreements, and connections between myself and all my clones in all time, space, reality, past, present, and future, alternate space, in between space, parallels, pocket realities, in realities, all dimensions, hanging in all contexts of reality right now. Do not consent. I do not agree to any kind of program or related agenda between myself and these clones. I asked them to be what? Do I ask for them to be destroyed or what? Yes. I ask for all of them to be destroyed right now. And so be it. There's white foam. They're all turning into white foam, really thick white foam. Like from a car wash, but really thick. It's all AI. It's AI foam. It can move. It can turn itself into hard stuff. It's wow. moving. It's moving. It's it, there's a whole like container of it. 
That's what protects you from the. That's why you're in a bubble. It's learning from you. Oh my God. That's why it looked like a daisy. They look like wheels, and this white foam would go all around these bubbles. It would learn from them, duplicate them, and then create themselves from that. They turn into bodies. I'm seeing this like white foam turn into literally bodies. Is it, is it some kind of like a um, uh, li living um, organism? organism. That, yeah, it's that ancient AI. It's, yeah. And who gave them this? Who gave them access to this? I'm seeing a cable. I'm seeing a green cable. Is there an individual that was involved? Leading up to it. Hold on, it's leading up to something. It's a cable and a pipe. Something old. Something very old. I'm under. I'm. In, I'm underneath the mummies. There's something in the. I'm in a tomb. I just worked my way back up. There was a. A cable coming out of a pipe with a bunch of stones that was dripping this stuff down that becomes the foam. Was it a was it Pata? Yes. Because he's over I the Pleiadians. I just got pointed to it. Yep. It's the weird, Jess, it's the weirdest thing. It's you. Like, see all these ancient stones, and it's dripping, and it's turning into this foam. It like it's it looks out of this world. Like I don't understand it. It's like that was somehow brought into this, and this was created into Egypt, like and then Ptah got it and used it to create a civilization of Pleiadians. And it's underneath there. It's that's it's underneath. It's underneath that region. Is it still there? Yes. Oh, now they're hurting me. We're going to ask to have it removed and undo everything that Pata has done on this planet nor or anywhere in time, space, reality. Any type of realities, pocket realities, hidden space, quantum, parallels, alternate realities. It's all turning into stone now. It's all drying up. It's all turning into stone and sand. They said it was an ancient being. That they were using the life force of an ancient being. But it became very... Anyone that was created of that became very evil. It was like it was cursed. Solomon Key. Oh, go ahead. I just heard the Solomon Key. What's the Solomon Key? What's a Solomon key? I don't know. Ask them. What's a Solomon key? It's a curse. It's an oath. Well, that might get back to the Masons because the Masons <sighs> build everything upon um, Solomon, the Solomon Temple. Oh. oh, okay. I don't know. It's an oath. You know, so because he was part of that lineage of Abraham. <clears throat> Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. And it goes down to David, and then Solomon's the son of David. It's a black stone, huge black stone. Was it connected to the Titans? Yeah, because it's really big, it's got big features. It's laying on its side, and it was buried under all this stuff. I see big feet. I see a... Um, maybe that's not... I don't know what that is. Some kind of symbol. I'm going to ask to have it returned back. Do you want to see what the symbol is first? Maybe it is a symbol of a bird. Maybe that's what they were pulling from it. I don't know. It like the like bird wings. seagull Maguire? Yeah. It's like wings. What kind of bird does it look like? It's a stocky bird. It's on its side. I'm trying to follow it up. Like Almost a partridge? Like a yeah. 
the trap. Or, or one of those guineas, I think they call it. Guinea fowl? Yeah. A guinea fowl? More like a guinea fowl than a partridge. Hmm. It's got some gold on it on the side. It was covered in that sand, white foam in the sand that was hiding it. I see Midas. Midas is messing with us right now. Uh oh. I'm going to ask to present Midas to the high courts right now for everything he's done, especially the distortion of money and gold that he brought into this world. He just damned you, damn you. And damn you. Blackness came out of his mouth. Black tourmalines coming out of his mouth. It's a good stone. He shouldn't have, he shouldn't be able to use it. It's interesting it was coming out of his mouth. It's like black goo, but then it turned into black tourmaline. Totem pole. Sharp totem pole. It's not a totem pole, it's something Japanese. One of those Japanese masks. Mm hmm. Weird human seen. body. Weird human body, it's like a hybrid behind it. So it's a, a very strange human body that has one of these masks on. Hmm. Like crunched up. I don't know. What is this thing? It's two spines. A tail, it's a demon. Looks like a demon. What is this? Kamala Harris. Who's it from? I think it's from the underworld, but it's a specific place. It's using Japanese magic. Something yes. from Japan. Shut it all down. And you know, magic, AI, anything that's influencing the planet. How was she able to use Japanese magic? Is she a demon? She's a demon. What kind of demon is she? Is she one she's of the blue avian? She's a serpent demon. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. She's laughing like... You know, um, the way you said that Chelsea Clinton laughs? Yeah. That's how she's laughing right now. I'm trying to put a pyramid on my third eye. Get away from me, you're not allowed to touch me. Don't touch me. I'm trying to put a golden little pyramid all right on my third eye. Just undo everything that they've done. Yeah, yes, I'm undoing all undone. everything undone, whatever this thing is on my on with this pyramid thing on my forehead, can I hand it to Rodan? I don't know yep. what it is. Here, I don't want it anymore. I see Thank a bunch you. of pygmies uh, from Africa. I don't know, know why. That's what it looked like. That kind of hybrid thing behind the mask. Mm. Like a pygmy, like a small being. Oh. That from was from like the, the island or something? Go ahead. Yeah, but that was the pygmy that was in my house in my last regression where I thought was our soccer. Here we go back to the Japanese. Mm. The pygmy, remember that I said was that turned out to be Pan and Cleo? Why are we back with the pygmies now? Just has to have it all removed in your space. I just have all of this removed from my space once and for all. Break ties with it. Set and agree to this. Break ties, vows, oaths, but oaths, contracts, agreements, and connections between myself, Kamala Harris, this serpent thing, the pygmies, the hybrids, 
the pyramid, all of it, in all time, space, reality, past, present, and future, alternate space, and between space, parallel, pocket reality, thin realities, all dimensions, and all quantum fields. Right now, I do not consent. I do not agree with any kind of program or really agenda between myself and all of these. Unplug, delete, uninstall, shut down, and so be it. Be seen now. I, I don't. I'm not really seeing anything. Seeing it, it's. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a wheel within the sand. Something white inside of it. I don't even know what this is. So I need to take a like a step away and see what this is. It's an old-fashioned wooden wheel that's connected to the inside of the earth. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at something inside the earth. Do you think it's connected to that that clone group? So they were using those wheels to make those clones. Is it like a leftover one? May oh maybe yeah because yeah. I saw the white yeah. I have to remove. Can we have to remove it. No, they'll take care of it. Okay. And ask them to have it removed. I to have it removed. And take yourself back into your proper place and time. Take myself back into my proper place and time and anybody else that was caught there, have them released. Okay. You feel like you finished doing what you needed to do? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, it must be late for you. Yeah, that's okay. I think of, this was important. Very important. God, the crap you found in my house, Jess. Jeez, I know. Oh, my God. It was like a whole matrix. A I mean, mini matrix. It's pissed me off. Okay, just check my back really quick. My lower back. So I saw something blue as I was coming up. I just hope nothing got hooked into me. Blue avians are going to grab it. Fuck. Okay. I can't believe, I mean, you know that the past few days I've been feeling like I haven't been able to even clean my house or do all the stuff that I'm like, I want to do. I've been feeling like it makes, and I keep on seeing this weird, gross, like, I don't, like yellow citrus colored goo. And I couldn't do anything. Like I, I was like dragging myself. Yeah. They've been doing a lot of crap. They do that. They've been doing this stuff to me for years where. I don't feel motivated to do the basic things that I need right. to do. And, yeah. What do you have to do? Yeah. And do you know that I would be sitting here painting and I would feel my, 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 I thought, oh, we must have had an earthquake, but it felt like rolling. It was like, and I'm like, what is going on? When I was doing different things, it would feel like literally my, and so now if there were all of these different matrices and whatever, it makes more sense. This fucked up. What about, what about, um, Tom Cruise getting blamed for all this stuff, and they just made a clone of him, a robot or whatever, and had him doing all this stuff. What was that entity? What was that old entity? Did they say that was create that they used the the energy from to make that white stuff? I don't know, but well, that you were looking at Titan, so um, the Titan Black Stone, so it could have been you know predate around that time. And then they was, created all those those um, Pleiadians, and then there's Ptah. But, you know, who knows? Maybe who's, Ptah. Who's Ptah? You can look him up. He's in, in yeah, Egypt. I'll look him up. I'll look him up. Don't worry. Is it P-E-T-H? Bird Seagull Maguire. Wow. I'm amazed at the stuff I'm able to hear. That's crazy. Well, okay. I mean, I'm glad I saw this. I'm Basically, this is coming out because I'm doing the research and I'm in California, right? In the Mayans. Uh, Pleiadians used your space 
they create a micro, uh, like a whole reality in your space. But just I every morning I literally do. You you would not believe the that, amount of revocation. It was I from did. that. It was from that lifetime. It was from oh. that lifetime that they hooked in. So they don't hook into you directly. They go into another timeline, find you, and then you know, then they can use you whenever. So the Reginald timeline that I had. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Jess. But then here again, you're being used for the daily talk show of, of the world or the United States with, with uh, Regis Philbin. That's on ABC. And then the girl, Kathy Lee, who you, oh my God, that makes sense then. Kathy Lee, who used to be with Regis Philbin, had a show with on the Today Show with Hoda Kopti. Was it Hoda that I saw or was it, because she looks a lot like Kamal Harris. Yeah. I think Kamala Probably Harris is. and her are somehow connected. Yep. And that's how this was all used. You have been listening to Androna Talks Radio. Join us on YouTube channel Jessica Errol Morocco and visit her website at www.readingsbyarial.com.